What's up everybody, Tindo here, and this is not the Patrick you're looking for. And we've been thrifting today, and it was wild. Not only did we find a lot of stuff, look at this giant stack of games, but I think if you watch this, you might actually be surprised about the stuff that we saw that we passed up on. There's definitely something in one of these thrift stores that I'm going to probably lay in bed late tonight and think about going back and getting. But anyways, guys, check this out. We shot this video on a Monday, and Mondays usually go one of two ways for us. We either end up at the Goodwill bins, or we end up going to Savers. And this Monday, we decided to go to Savers. We just weren't filling the bins today. So I went to the first Savers that is nearest my house and went straight to the video games, and I gotta say, it's not a great start. Don't worry though, today ends up being pretty great. But it didn't start out well in terms of video games, which is what I'm looking for the most. There was almost nothing here. There was a random array of PC games, just random goofy PC games, and that's pretty much it. And I think this is the second Monday in a row that we came to this Savers, and there wasn't much more last Monday, but I bought a handful on that Monday, and it's looking like at this point that I'm not going to leave with any video games from this Savers, but... But I'm going to go check out the electronics and maybe we'll do better back here. It's always a nice hefty mess to dig through, which I kind of like. You got to dig for your own treasure. There was a connect, but I don't need any more connects. I've got one inbox and one that I use. This little VR headset, I'm not going to lie to you, there's like 0.5% of me that was super hopeful inside of that moment that that was a virtual boy. But it was not. That will be the day, won't it? finding a virtual boy at the thrift. There wasn't much back here though. A lot of random cameras, and I don't know why, but a lot of random old telephones from the 90s, different colors. I don't know, that that's kind of random. I don't know if somebody had a phone collection and donated them all at once. I mean, that is the kind of thing you expect to see at a thrift, but it's not usual at this one for there to be a bunch of telephones from the 90s, but that's what was there. All three of these games ended up being good ones. I mean, Madden's not that great, but it was a sealed copy. And then Call of Duty, and you'll see right there in the bottom right corner, there's actually an Xbox One copy of the game in the 360 case with the 360 game. I didn't notice it when I bought it, but later on I figured that out. It was pretty awesome. The copy of Modern Warfare 2 for the PS3, and then this NFL game was sealed. And then I went ahead and had her let me look at these books full of CDs, Two of these books were Bibles, and then look at this one. This one was full of PC games. There wasn't really anything in there that caught my attention. I'm already trying really hard not to give in to buying PC games, and I'm especially not going to buy them if they're not boxed, but that was pretty cool to see, and it only had a few bucks on it, so maybe it would have been worth it. Maybe I should have just bought it to bring it home and dig through. Then on to the toys. I have a love-hate relationship with the toys at Savers because there's often good stuff in here, but when there is good stuff, it's bagged up with a bunch of other stuff you don't want. But you gotta check anyways, because I have had good luck finding bags full of Skylanders here before, so I can't ever leave without at least walking by them. And there was nothing today, except maybe a Batman figure, but it was kind of exactly what I was just explaining. I'm not gonna pay all that money for that one bag. So, let's keep moving. What? Diamond armor. What is it? Diamond armor. Bruh. The helmet and everything. Get it. And It'll Steve. fit. That'll totally fit you. No, it won't. I got some denim. Denim on, denim on, denim. I really like this. Do you want to be a real shark? Here's one of those weird things that I see very often at the thrift somebody's kids finger paintings framed and then donated to the thrift interesting and here's what i left with they wrote my name on the bag i guess in case i forget who i am but three games is not a bad haul i've done worse next we stopped at a desert there's basically two deserts and two savers on this side of town so usually on a monday if we get out going to savers we'll go to these deserts as well and i love them and you're about to see why because this is the thrift that just keeps on giving. I found game after game after game, and I started off with this Prince of Persia. It's one that I found a couple times without its manual and didn't end up buying, but today, the manual was there. There's some Tony Hawk in here. There's some racing games. Of course, there's the usual Wii Fit and Guitar Hero and a couple PC games, a handful of sports games, but this one was a GameCube sports game. 
and I'm trying to get that whole GameCube collection, so I'm happy to see even the sports titles for GameCube at the thrift. But there was even plenty of PlayStation 3 stuff here today. Don't get me wrong, I usually find a handful of games to leave here with, but it was especially good today. Look at this, a PlayStation 1 game. Any PlayStation 1 game anymore at the thrift is awesome. But it's all there, and there was a bunch of games like this one that I wanted bad. I really wanted that game, but there was no manual, and that was not the last one that that was the case. That's always a bummer, but it's part of the game. A lot of people might not care, but I, I want those manuals. I want them to be complete. Another one, no manual. Strike two. Can the next one have the manual in it, please? Pac-Man World 2. Look, no manual. Strike, you're out. Wheel of Fortune? Come on, manual. Boom, it's there, finally. Looky here, some Wii Lego games. I'm trying to get all of those as fast as I can because we want to play some of those on the channel just for a heckin' good time. And uh, that was one I didn't have. And then I went and sat on the couch, and I actually spent quite a long time sitting here going through these discs, checking my spreadsheet to make sure that I didn't already have some of these, so I'm not buying any doubles, as well as checking the quality of all of them, because sometimes I get to move in too fast and I do overlook things. But I've got a spreadsheet, and that's how I keep track of all of my games. I leave a link to it below all of my videos if you want to go check that out. A lot of people use various different apps to keep track of their game collection, and I have used those, but I just couldn't quite put enough information into those apps. So I just use a regular old spreadsheet, and it works fine for me. If you want to check that out, go click the link below. I believe that I found a Legend of Zelda gaming manual at this particular thrift store once upon a time, and so now every time I'm here, I can't not go look at the books because I'm just like, well, what if? What if there's something over there? I don't always check the books at every single thrift, but I tend to if I've found something there before. And Patrick pointed out that there was a whole box of Skylanders in this lockbox. And let me tell you, that makes me giddy. Do you know what's better than a whole bag of Skylanders? A whole box of Skylanders. There was other stuff in this lockbox, including that Xbox 360 and this Wii over here. And they have really high prices on them. That's what happens a lot at these deserts when they get nice consoles. I haven't bought too many consoles, I think, at Desert before. I've bought a PlayStation 2 from one for a few bucks without its cables. But when they bag stuff and put them in those lockboxes, it's pretty expensive. Which is what I'm worried about with this box of Skylanders. And sure enough, it ended up being $25 for this whole box. And you know what? That's worth it. If you didn't have any of these, $25 is a great price. Because even at the game stores right now, I'm paying about a dollar a piece for them. Even these big pretty ones, like that white one with wings, I'm paying just a dollar. So there was probably 20, 25 Skylanders in here. That's not a bad deal. But what happened to me was that I opened up this box and realized that I had about two-thirds of them. And $25 just wasn't quite worth it for the third that I didn't have. Though the third I didn't have was some very pretty ones in there. Excuse me, miss, are you trying to steal my games? Um, they're my games. They're what? They're my games. On to the next savers. This is very far away from home. The savers are very, very spaced out, which is not the case with Goodwills in town. Here in Phoenix, if you go to Goodwills, there are parts of town where it seems like there's one on every block, but not savers. There's just enough of them that once you get to the next one, you're pretty far away from the last one. So we're far, far east of home right now. And I'm digging through the video games. I'm not finding any bangers, but there's a couple things in here that I've got my eyes on. But I'm going to walk around the store and think about it first. I've been having trouble remembering to go check out the magazine section for gaming magazines. But I happen to remember this time, and lucky I did because there was two copies of Game Informer in there. It's a bust. Look at this orange. Alright, Patrick, I want you to read the name of this title. Go. Read it. Not guess it. Defending the Penguin. It's, it's German. Should we get it? Of course. <laughs> Another thing I forgot was to check the lockbox in this saver, so I checked it on the way out. There was a handful of DS and Game Boy Advance stuff, but nothing I had to have today. 
And then this is a Goodwill that is right next door to that Savers. So we'd never go to that Savers without hitting up this Goodwill as well. And it's funny because it's not been terribly long since I was in this Goodwill. And last time, this box was full of video games. And now there's just a small stack. But there's nothing there whatsoever that I was interested in. So I kept moving over to where the games usually are. And it was pretty much slim pickings over here as well. A copy of Ghost Recon. Pretty much nothing over here that I didn't already have. So let's keep moving on one more time. This is another thrift store where stuff is usually just packed into the shelves. So it's worth going back here and digging. But there was pretty much nothing laying back here except for a few Wii's and a couple other Xbox 360's. They're just all either priced too high or junky or, well, really, I don't need any more Wii's or 360's. I have about six of each, so let's keep moving on. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? I'm gonna have lice. Oh, it's too big for my head. You mean your head's too big? Actually, it's kind of perfect once I'm in here. <laughs> and I gotta turn it sideways to get it off. Say something in your stormtrooper voice. Um, it's time to leave the Goodwill. This is the last stop of the day. Of the three deserts that are in town, this is my least favorite. But I still go anyways because even though it's my least favorite of those, it's still better than a lot of thrift stores in town. But here's one of the reasons that I'm not fond of going there. All these games in this lockbox are great games. But they're all priced at equal to or more than what you'll pay for them at the game store. Sometimes you get lucky and find, you know, the odd rare game for a few dollars cheaper than you'd pay for it at the game store. But that's not the deal I'm looking for today. But look at this. Right there on the right is an inbox... PlayStation 2, and it's setting right next to an N64. What? I mean, that's awesome. You always like seeing that in a thrift shop. And right, actually, I didn't notice this, but squeezed in between the two was a Sega Genesis. But those consoles, much like these games, they're priced much higher than the deals that you will usually see me buy on this channel. But don't get me wrong, that PlayStation 2 had a $75 price tag on it, I believe, and I checked it. It was all there, but uh, I'm just not looking to spend $75 right now. But I'm probably going to lay in bed tonight and think about going back tomorrow and getting it. Much want. I really want an inbox PlayStation 2. We just made a whole video yesterday about our favorite video games, and Patrick told the internet that there's not a physical copy of League of Legends, which you're a liar. What? Luckily, the selection of regular games didn't turn out to be too bad. Plenty of copies of Wii Fit. You know, we love Wii Fit here at Shark Vlog. But there was a lot of stuff here. You had to dig for it because some of it was just laying behind other random stuff. And I actually had to come back to the game section two or three times because I just kept feeling like I'd missed something. And sure enough, there were a few things tucked in over here I'd missed on my first dig through. But you look closely here, there's a lot of Wii stuff and a handful of Xbox stuff like this game here. When I first saw it, I was thinking, ooh, Gundam, but it's not. It's some other giant robot fighting game, which I love. A copy of Morrowind, but I couldn't remember if I had it or not, and it was missing its manual, so I didn't even bother to look. But look at this. Barney's Hide and Seek. May not impress many of you, but... I'm always impressed by an inbox Sega Genesis game anytime I see it at the thrift. Say it again. There's every Sims ever made. Wow, there's just stuff tucked back in here. Ooh, Trap Team for Xbox One. Oh! Be in here. No manual. Gosh dang it. A little later, I had already went on to the rest of the store and then got that itch again telling me that I'd probably miss something, so I went back, and of course, here's a GameCube game. Super happy to find another GameCube game today. And then Patrick sitting here being super excited. We found an inbox copy of League of Legends from way back in the day, early on in its release, and it's got a list of the original characters you could play and stuff. He's pretty giddy about this. He's probably going to hang that poster up on his wall. Look how happy he is. If you're listening, Patrick, lols. We were just about to leave and I just couldn't let this inbox PlayStation 2 go. I just, it's at the top of my list of inbox consoles that I want because it's one of my favorite consoles. 
So I'm going to go have a look at it and maybe see if there isn't a reason why I just have to buy it. So when I got one of the employees over to let me check it out, I opened it up and it was kind of funny inside. The styrofoam was in there, no problem. The original manuals were in there untouched, but the cables were all wrong. Now that's not a big deal. That's not a huge reason to buy or not to buy a console because of the cables because they're very easy to find and replace. I have tons of original PlayStation and PlayStation 2 AV cables and power cables. But I just thought that was kind of weird. I don't know what this device... There was a device in there with a random AV cable that wasn't the standard PlayStation cable. So that wasn't going to talk me into buying it or not buying it. But it was worth looking at. But at the end of the day, I didn't buy it. All right, guys, we're back in the game room. And today was awesome. We don't always have days like this. But I'm thankful when we do. So let's go through everything that we got today. We'll start with the not game stuff and we'll start with this. I bet that sounds awesome on the microphone. Patrick found this in the toy section at a Goodwill and uh, I had to have it. It's special because I have had some uh, cheaper ones like... Here's a clone trooper. I find those all the time. That was sold at Walmart back in the early 2000s for, I don't know, 20, 30 bucks. I've got these all over the place, but I've never had a nice, solid, one-piece Stormtrooper, which is pretty awesome. Hold on. I've got to put it on sideways to get it on. Oh! <laughs> My nose. But I don't actually know much about these Stormtrooper helmets. It's got a copyright stamp on it for 2015. I'm guessing it's actually one of those you could buy with a full piece together armor kit. I think, because it is like just nice kind of perfect details. Go, go. <laughs> do it again. All forward positions are advancing. This one doesn't do that. There's no batteries. It's just like perfect padding, just right to fit. But if you know anything about these in the comments, let us know below if uh, so maybe Maybe we can find the origins of it. It just has a copyright stamp for 2015. That's awesome. Very happy to find that. We paid $6.99. All right, up next, two copies of Game Informer. One for Bioshock 2 and one for Warcraft 3. I'm assuming, hopefully, not wrongly so, that that's World of Warcraft. Is it not? There's a game called Warcraft? Yeah. Well, you learn something new every day. Have you played it? I've not, I just know of it. Okay, well, I was going to say, if it was Warcraft, if it was World of Warcraft, it's perfect timing because Vanilla WoW went live about an hour ago as of filming this. This will come out tomorrow, so it will have been yesterday. But uh, Warcraft, what's, it looks like the same. <laughs> it's like, I've never played it, but from what it looks like, it's like kind of similar to Halo. We're the best gaming channel ever. We know all the games. Next is a uh, plug and play Mrs. Pac-Man. And I only bought this to throw it up on eBay and recoup a few of the bucks I spent today. I do that sometimes. Or trade in. I can get a few trade in bucks out of this. But it was just three bucks and they go for 25 and up on eBay. So me and Patrick might play some Pac Man tonight. We'll see. All right. Well, there's one more thing. Patrick, rip into this. Tell us who these people are. Damn, Tiger Teeth. <laughs> Right. Wrong answers only. Who are these people? Show the camera. Um, Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers, great. Comment below if you know who these people are. That one might be a little hard because it really doesn't look that much like him. Hmm. Hire so they can see the full jacket. The jacket gives it away. Maybe the pinstripe suit. Who is it? I don't know. It's a well-dressed guy. <laughs> Neo from the Matrix is what I would have said. Your dad in a biker gang? <laughs> Looks nothing like my dad. Who's next? And the big bad wolf herself? There you go. Comment below if uh, you're into Doctor Who. I sure am a big fan. That's uh, Billy Piper. And I guess that's supposed to be... Jack Harkness. It really doesn't look like him, so I'm not gonna be surprised, I guess, if it's not. And he's in a flight suit. I don't know. Maybe that's not him. The doctor himself and the doctor himself. I have a modest Doctor Who collection, and honestly, it's not on my shelves right now, save one TARDIS that's up top. I just don't have room for it with all these video games that we've been buying. There's no room to put Doctor Who stuff, but 
these figures aren't that cheap new and to get all of them for three bucks i had to get them all right that is all of the not video game stuff let's get into the video game stuff patrick you start with yours patrick actually bought something today we've made like 20 of these videos and he's never bought anything okay i lied last last video i lied but i had no idea <laughs> there is a physical copy collector's pack of League of Legends. Find a date on it, on the back. 2009. 2009! Already looked. It's That's got, crazy. Like, gameplay pictures. It's got like a game manual, a map, all the champions, all that inside. Didn't know it existed. Found it. We'll be keeping it. I gave Patrick only one shelf in the whole game room, and he like, put his League of Legends stuff on it. So. I guess we're gonna have to get him his own shelf so he can put more League of Legends stuff on it because that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Next thing that I found was a PlayStation 1 game, which I'm always happy to find at the thrift. Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver, and it's the Greatest Hits Edition. I was very happy to pay $2 for this. It's not a rare game, but $2 is a great price. Pretty happy about this. This is another one Patrick found on the shelf. I actually was walking away and Patrick was like, hey, did you see this one? Sonic and the Black Knight for Wii. Always happy to find these Sonic games for a couple bucks. Oh, and look. <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's got its manual. It's all there. But there's also Sonic 2 Adventure Battle. The manual for the GameCube game. Next up is Shell Shock Nam 67. This was actually at the Savers that I bought it at for quite a while. And I kept not buying it. But it was kind of slim pickings there today. So I went ahead and picked it up. Don't get desperate like me. And then a GameCube sports game. NCAA 2K3. GameCube, I'm just, I, my, the first collection I want to complete is GameCube. So, I'm very happy to buy up these sports games when I can for a couple bucks. Will of Fortune, Patrick's favorite game. <laughs> yep, all there. I don't know why I'm checking, like I didn't check in the store four times. <laughs> Star Wars 3 Lego. Not the only Lego game I bought today. And actually, our last thrift haul video, I bought like five or six Lego games. So, I was very happy to find more of them today. This is probably going to be... A game we play on our ongoing series of video games that look terrible. Read this, Patrick. The penguin, the <laughs> defend, defending the penguin. Defending the penguin. This looks terribly awesome. All right, Call of Duty: Advanced Warfare. And here's another bonus. Check this out. I didn't notice this until I got out to the car, but it has both discs of the game. One, two. And the manual's in there. And then look at this. An Xbox One copy of the game. We'll be playing. Have you played this one yet? Nope. Patrick does have an Xbox One. I don't have one, so we can definitely play it on his. Madden 06. And this was just funny, and I only bought it, because I think I already have it, but I only bought this one because it's sealed. Factory sealed. Two bucks, you can't beat a factory sealed Xbox 360 game. I can't pass that up. Cars, Mater Nation. We uh, we found plenty of games today that are perfect for my axe there. <laughs> Mater Nation. Prince of Persia, The Forgotten Sands for Wii. I love these Prince of Persia games. Another Lego game, Indiana Jones 2. Super excited to play that one. Best game of all time. I want to Google it. How many hours of gameplay are there to play all of the LEGO games? I bet it's a year's worth of time. Because the new one that just came out, I think it's a Jurassic Park. Someone told me the new LEGO game is like 80 hours of gameplay. That's rip. Modern Warfare 2, this is another funny one. Because yesterday, on our video about all of our favorite games, that was Patrick's number one. And the copy that he held up didn't have a disc in it. Because I just had, I didn't have the game. I just had two empty cases that didn't have their discs for that. So, we actually have it now. If we want to play Modern Warfare 2, we can. You want to have a sleepover? We already live together. All right, My Sims Kingdom. We got this so Hannah could torture some more Sims. Oh, this was awesome. Patrick found this one, too. <laughs> He's going to laugh, and you're probably going to laugh, but I am always super, 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 super happy to find inbox Sega Genesis games. I thought it was a movie at first. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really? I just saw Barney Hide and Seek, and I was like, oh, a movie. And Barney's, hide, Barney's Hide and Seek game. That's great. 
It does not have its manual, but the game is in there. I'm never, never, never mad to find classic console stuff in box. It's really hard. I see a handful of NES games and a handful of SNES games at the thrift store, and a little less commonly, I do see Genesis games at the thrift stores, but I very rarely see them in box. That might only be the second in box Sega Genesis game I've bought at the thrift store since we've been making this channel, I think. I will be playing that one all the way through. <laughs> Two completions. <laughs> This is awesome. I've talked a lot about a particular Gundam game on this channel in the past. If you've watched, you probably know. And I thought that's what this was, was a Gundam game, but it's not. Robotech. Uh, Battle Cry. I don't know if this is based off some anime or if this is just a Gundam ripoff, but I like it. Either way, we'll definitely be trying that out. All right, next up, the only game I bought today that wasn't complete in box, Final Fantasy X3-2. But it was a Final Fantasy game for just a couple bucks, so I bought it. Poor manual's missing. Tear. This is pretty awesome. I had the first one, so I finally have the second one now. X-Men Legends 2. I think I had the first one on GameCube or something. I can't recall. This was another bonus. Sonic Heroes manual. We'll take. And then last and certainly not least, I found an actually... Not super common GameCube game. I mean, it's not valuable. They're probably 10 bucks on eBay, but to find this at a thrift shop for two bucks. This game's a prime example of why you definitely have to go double check the shelves at the Goodwill because either someone put this out while I was there or a customer put it back or we were just dumb and missed it. But we were about to leave the store. I went and did a double take and there she is. I've never played this game. I don't have much familiarity with it at all. Reign of Fire. Made by BAM. So if you know anything about this, leave me a comment below. Tell us if we should play it. Uh, I typically, when I buy games like this that I don't recognize but look awesome, I will throw them in. I've got a GameCube plugged into the CRT right behind me. So I will check it out, but I really won't spend much time on it unless someone tells me that it looks worth it. All right, guys, that's everything that we bought today. I hope that you were as amazed as I was at some of the stuff that we found, like this helmet. I think this right here makes all of it worth it. But guys, we need you all to do us a favor. We need you to go to our YouTube homepage and go up to the right-hand corner. And up there is a link to our Twitch page. We need you to go over to our Twitch, hit that follow button, because we're going to start streaming some of these video games that we find at the thrift stores. Some of the weird ones, some of the great ones, some of the ones that you guys really want us to play. So go follow us on Twitch, and when we do start streaming, you'll be getting notifications at that point. Speaking of which, hit that like and subscribe button here on YouTube, and also that bell notification. So in the future, when we post YouTube videos, you'll get a notification and you can come and hang out with us then. And until then, guys. Hang loose? Is that what you're telling them, to hang loose? All right, hang loose. Hang out.